They were trying Indian food. Here's an all-you-can-eat Indian buffet. My homemade butter chicken recipe is finger licking good. Indian food for the first time ever. This is Bani Buri. Probably the best and the worst street food you could possibly get. A few weeks ago, we ventured into the world of TikTok to see what Indian food people were eating and more importantly, what they were saying. We had a lot of fun filming that video. So here's part two for you. Enjoy. Four rice, four dal, four naan, four lassi and four bottles of water. This, they could have ordered two total of each. I think what this video is trying to show is that, oh, look at us white girls. We always order mango lassi naan, butter chicken and rice. I think they're just trying to reinforce the stereotype or make fun of the stereotype. That's not too clear to me. Four butter chickens? <laughs> it's a lot, it's too much. But what do you think about this stereotype that everybody orders these four dishes? This is like a safe bet. This is a very safe bet of what to order. And I don't imagine they'll order anything else ever. I ordered Indian food. This girl on TikTok always shows up on my For You page and makes me crave it. So I got some Aziz. I love dipping it in here. It's like Uncle Roger with the knee up. Yeah. Mm. Was that, that the samosa water, so into the I like I should curry? Them. Yep. Next time I'm gonna get different dishes, but I was really craving chicken good. tikka masala. Yeah, I was gonna so. say chicken tikka masala. I don't know if you can see the steam, but it is so hot. This one didn't make it to the plate mm. straight out of the container. I need to get non bread, my favorite. Non bread. Uh, garlic with spices. It's so delicious. Okay, eating so with her hands, that's good. Before, and I'm wondering what it tastes like. It has like a very tomatoey base and it's super creamy, filled with spices and it has tender buttery chicken in it. And then the rice is super aromatic and it smells like cloves. I'm sad it's almost over. I hope this video influences you to go get some Indian food because you will not be disappointed. Once again, people love Indian food. They're seeing it on TikTok and they're ordering it. Uh, we saw a couple people go to the restaurant, which if you can, it's gonna be better. Not every food travels well. You can tell how floppy that naan is. That's been sitting in its own steam and, and losing the correct texture. So that's best in the restaurant. I think the only comment I'm gonna make on this video is that why is it that chicken tikka masala or butter chicken are the dishes that are the most popular and everybody gets naan and rice with it. Whenever we've had butter chicken, we only get naan with it. I don't think I've ever had butter chicken with rice. I don't think everybody knows, but you make a really good butter chicken. Like Guilty as charged. It's delicious and it tastes very authentic. This video is a recipe of a butter chicken. Okay. And I want you to critique this recipe. All right. I already see something wrong with it. My homemade butter chicken recipe is finger licking good. To make this, you want to start by whisking your yogurt in a bowl, add in your tandoori masala, along with ginger and garlic paste, and then just whisk to combine. I'm using chicken tenders cut into large pieces. You can also use chicken breasts or thighs, whatever you like. Let this hang out for at least 20 minutes, longer if you have the time. Melcher, what did you think of the marinade? Where's the salt? Good point. Key in a saucepan and then fry up your onions. For this particular recipe, you want them to soften but not necessarily brown. Once that's done, add in your ginger and garlic paste along with your crushed tomatoes and most of your seasonings. This is chili powder, cumin, and coriander. Then just let this simmer for at least five minutes. If you've got 15 minutes, that's even better. Then blend this up in a blender. Fry off your chicken in the same skillet and then add your butter chicken sauce back in along with heavy cream and i am finishing this off with my mom's homemade garam masala because it just makes it taste like home for me and then you're also going to add in fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi as it's called in urdu 
And then to serve this up, use basmati rice or garlic naan or just regular naan, whatever you like works here. The full recipe is linked in my profile and you have to try this because it's absolute perfection. You're gonna love it. Where the f is the butter? There's no butter. Yeah, you know what? That's what everybody is saying in the comments. Come on, you bozo. It's the first word, butter chicken. And you got the chicken wrong too. She was right with the kasori meti, but she finished it with the coriander. We've seen that mistake a lot and I'm sure people will keep messing that up. I think people just want to add color, but this is a dish where you don't want that cilantro flavor. Yeah, I didn't see any sweetness go in. No sugar either. No sugar either. And the other thing was when did she add the salt? Because when she added the tomatoes and the spices, that's the stage when I would add the salt to help the tomatoes cook. But she didn't add salt then either or in the marinade. Maybe she didn't show it in the video. That's possible. But definitely season at every stage and that's going to create depth of flavor in your dish. Today we're trying Indian food. We got the buttered chicken, the garlic naan, the onion bejia, the gulab jamun. I think I got that right. And this came with some sauce and a whole basin of rice. We went to India oven in Bowling Green, Kentucky for a grand total of $35. Let's start with this onion bajia. It's paper thin. That seasoning is out of this world. It has a nice garlic Parmesan taste and that Parmesan. is to perfection. I'm not even joking. Now let's try this buttered chicken for the very first time. Now they didn't give me a fork or nothing. So thankfully I had a fork in my car, but yeah. <laughs> okay, this guy must eat in this car a lot. <laughs> Holy crap. This <laughs> might be the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. Okay, let me chill out. This chicken is like, it's like liquid. It just melts in your mouth, okay? And as for the butter taste, it does taste a little oily. But what I'm really getting is a cinnamon taste for some reason. And we're gonna break off a piece of this garlic naan and dip it in the buttered chicken. Let's see how good this is. Oh boy. This guy doesn't know how to eat with his hands. My taste buds have been violated. That should be a crime. That. I, I'm, I'm tweaking. <sighs> okay, let's wrap this up with the gulab. Wow, jamun. that's okay, so hard. That's hard to get in there. Okay, okay this, this is sitting in a stale? bowl of syrup. Yeah. Boy. With the syrup on it, it kind of reminds me of a condensed pancake. And it's kind of heavy hitting, heavy in the stomach. So it's good, but I give it like a six. If you ever hit up Indian oven or any other Indian restaurant in the future, please get their buttered chicken. Do yourself a favor. Millions of people have never had butter chicken. I mean, obviously you're gonna have it for the first time sometime, but coincidentally, everybody seems to be filming it and like, this is the first time I've ever had butter chicken. Wow, it's so good. I like this guy a lot. I could, of everyone we've watched so far, I would watch him again. It's kind of adorable. Yeah, I agree. I think it was a very articulate review. And I also think that it exposes some of the problems of Indian restaurants in the US. Like he mentioned that, oh, this is butter chicken, but this dish tastes oily. That might be because they just didn't use butter and they just used some bad quality seed oils to seed make oil. the sauce look glossy and get that effect. Especially when he says, oh, I taste cinnamon, either his palate is not so refined and that's what he tastes, or the restaurant kind of didn't balance the spices right and then one of the spices is overpowering the rest, in this case, cinnamon. Here's an all-you-can-eat Indian buffet for only $17.99 a person. You walk inside, they got everything on display ready for you to go to town. There's six protein options to choose from that include chicken, goat, and lamb, and what separates this place from the rest is their quality. For the vegetarians, they got you covered too with four amazing options. Their samosas are nice and crispy, and you can't forget about their dessert and chai either. Put this place on your list. Looks pretty good. Pretty 
solid variety. The gulab jamun looked soft. All of the dishes they showed looked like they were cooked really well and there were no shortcuts taken. Of course, I haven't tasted the food, so I can't tell, but it looked like a really nice variety and looks like a lot of food for $17.99. Yeah, it looks good quality, good value. My first exposure to Indian food was Indian buffets and I thought that that was how it was served everywhere all the time. I can't really criticize this too much because it's there and it's good, it serves a purpose, gives you the chance to try so many different things. If you're gonna eat at an Indian buffet, don't get too much of the same thing. This is your chance to try all of those other dishes that are not butter chicken, that are not samosa, and see if you like those. Whenever people talk about Indian food, they talk about buffets in the US, and it almost seems like buffet is synonymous with Indian food. And I didn't quite understand why i don't think i still do what is the obsession with the buffets i mean of course there are lots of indian buffets like for weddings in india you almost always have a buffet but that's not the only style of eating so i think it's a good you know way to try a lot of different dishes but i also don't think that that's the only format that Indians in India eat in. That's it for today. Like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to dive into the depths of Indian cuisine and culture.